Clover Fresh Milk is way better. Made with love by Clover. <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express on this fry. Yay, ne? Yay. When I say fry, you say yay fry? Yay. Thank you. What do I say? <laughs> you are going to be saving your energy for the cooking because we are about to throw it down in the kitchen. <laughs> now everyone loves a good cheesy recipe and we've got just the one for you to try this weekend. Our clover cheese low-carb tacos brings all the flavors and will be easy on the waistline. And Lord knows, some of us need it more than others. So to, SMS, to try this at home, SMS the keyword clover to 33650 and uh, SMSs cost 1 rand 50 and free SMSs do not apply. I love a good taco. I love a good Mexican recipe. I don't know about you, Yanga. I've never had one, but it's a first. Well, so. we will be happy. Before. You've never had it. To I've give never had it your before. first. Chef Yanga, won't you take us through the recipe? Oh, and Chef Yanga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. no, you know what? Let me, jump in. <laughs> Let me jump in quickly on that. Okay, cool. So you've never had tacos no. or you've never tasted tacos before. No. So normally tacos, basically um, tacos are an Italian dish. That yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's made with um, corn or wheat um, tortillas, which are then folded. Not weed. No, no, wheat. Wheat, <laughs> wheat, <laughs> wheat, wheat, <laughs> wheat, corn and Younger. wheat. That's it. That's the only two words you should remember. <laughs> okay. And then what happens is you just um, you put the cheese together with the salt and pepper in the oven for like 180 cool. degrees up until it melts and has that beautiful round brown shapes on the side, okay, which are nice delicious. and crispy. Let's Have let's you tasted like a burnt um, um, cheese? So with that, while so I'm doing, nice. so while I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the mince on the side and then you're gonna tackle the um, the tortillas. Cool. All right. Cool. So whilst you guys are mixing it up and we want you to try it at home, I think we need to question, first of all, who the real chef is. Because Chef Aya, where are tacos from? Mm. Are they Mexico. from Italy? They're from, from Mexico. Mexico. They're from Mexico. <laughs> they are from Mexico. This is a traditional Mexican recipe. This is a traditional Mexican dish, which yeah. we absolutely love in the kitchen. We've tried a little bit of everything from Thai food this week, and now we're heading over to Mexico. And to try this at home, SMS the keyword clover to 33650. How are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh, it's it's fine, fine. Do it, do it. Let me help you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want everything? Okay. I think yeah, you're doing I mean, an incredible two, job. Yeah. Bigger is better, so. So, Chef Aya, I see here that we've played with different cheeses yeah. and Clover has definitely come through with the different medium and to hard and soft textures of cheeses. What are we using for this recipe? So, today we're using uh, two cheddars, uh, one white cheddar and the yellow one. Okay. They have that nice sweetness flavor to them and they're so nice and smooth. And also, they will help um, hold when you're trying to shape them like that for our tacos. Nice. So, they're beautiful, nice and strong, but soft at the same time with a very nice sweet flavor to them. Yeah. So, they're just going to add something very beautiful to our tacos today. I love that. I see you've already added your mince meat into yeah. the into the pan. What other flavors and what other kind of proteins can we use? I love a good taco, a, so, a good so, tuna taco. So you know the beautiful <laughs> thing about tuna, it's so versatile. You can make it with fish, you can make it with any poultry or red meat, mm. or also you can have a vegetarian one, which is beautiful. You know, so everyone can have a piece. If you're a, if you're a yeah. vegan, you can create something for you as a vegan, you know what I mean? You can play around with like tofus, you can play around yes. with just, instead of using the cheese, you can use cauliflower, but now we're just focusing on the cheese. I love yeah. that, I love that. And I also love a good prawn taco too. So I'm into my seafood, but if you're more of a meat eater, you can try a chicken taco. But today we're killing it with our minced taco. We take it a bit more traditional today. Yeah, and also, you know, what is the taco with the mince without the Mexican spices? So I've mm. got my paprika here. Mm. So nice. I've got so paprika also, you know, paprika. It's, it's just a basic um, <laughs> um, Mexican spice. With also, I've got a ground coriander here. Uh-huh. And if you want to, you can also use peppercorns. I mean, the, 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 um, the whole coriander. And then I've got um, a garlic powder here. Okay. To kind of give you that nice. Yanga, I want to know. I love in Debabayo. I love chili food. I also love, I love, you, I love spicy food. Oh, you would, it's okay. I love spicy food. Thank you. I've got one other person <laughs> on my team because I want to make today's tacos spicy, full of flavor. Okay, I want not, that not, not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, so for medium, mild, Spicy, mild. 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 Yeah. So you're a little bit in between. Yeah. I love that. Mm. <laughs> what is your favorite meal? What do you think that when mom cooks it and you're so looking forward to coming home? Um, po God. Um, po yes, oh, girl. Oh, yes, take girl. it back, honey. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about um, po God and the flavors that come together that says that's a younger meal? I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. I don't know. It's the magic 
of just the word umpoko. I think that that draws me. <laughs> it it draws you. <laughs> okay, so we, we we're getting a little bit further. We're about to add a tomato into the yeah, into tomato, the mint. Yeah, the tomato puree to it so that we can kind of get that nice um, sourness from it. I mean, I we get the that. sweetness from the meat already, and then now we just kind of combine the the, the mm. flavors of the sweet and sour together Chef in this dish. I'm going to ask you to abandon your station yes. quickly and talk us through this delicious salsa that you're going to be adding to our tacos. I can see that we've got quite a few ingredients yeah. here. It's looking very colorful too. So our mince is already done there. I mean, it's ready. I'm just going to let it reduce a bit. Mm -hmm. So here with our salsa, basically this is a basic traditional salsa. It's um, red onions in here. I've got tomatoes in here and then I've got cucumber with um, cilantro, which mm -hmm. is um, Korean wow. to give that nice freshness. <laughs> and then you finish it off with like salt and pepper and then like a zing of lemon. Nice. And then, zing. Yeah, and then I've got guacamole here. You've made this before, right? I've but I've while you've made been, that. You've eaten it. Yeah. I think right, you've cool. got building. I think that's the next step nice. naturally. So, so I've got my guacamole here. It's just um, evo, salt and pepper, lemon, and then some coriander as well in it. So with your, you're gonna do it. I'm gonna get you my lettuce leaves, leaves as a base. And then, sorry, and then you follow after it up that, with, I'll actually let you do all the. The assembling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could cool. be like I'm a quickly. factory line. I, so I thought I was join in, join in, join in. I thought I was the chefs, join in, babe. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. We want everyone to get stuck in, in the so kitchen. So I'm just gonna stand here and look who did the one best. We can't, I'll just charge. We can't let mommy do everything. The kids need <laughs> to get stuck in. Daddy needs to get stuck in too. We've just assembled our right, tacos here. We've made our low carb base. We've added our lettuce and of course our mince, which is our amazing protein. I'm going to top this off with some the salsa. salsa and then some sour cream that you just give it a nice balance. After the salsa. Yours looks so much more neat than mine. I mean, I'm more of a rustic feel, I like to call it. So if it's a bit messy, I'm having fun, and that means that it's really, really good. I think that you guys I'm are like fighting finisher. over this, eh? <laughs> I just I can't wait to see one of you guys taking a big bite of that. <laughs> Not at all. I'm gonna put a huge dollop of creme fraiche on there. And, and then I don't forget your, your, um, your, your, um, your guacamole. Just a dollop of it as well. Oh. Just like that, that easy. Remember to SMS the keyword that. Clover to 33650 to get this recipe sent to you. And if you need to see how this is made one more time, yeah. here's a quick recap. Made with love by Clover.